So Intramuros is underrated, I think, and more people should go to it. Not only it's because it's the world, uh, the best tourist attraction of the world, but it's just really rich in history. And it's like when you're there, you're transported in a different time. And there's a lot of open space, open air, you have culture, you have heritage. Last 2019, it won, and we were quite surprised, uh, the best tourist attraction in the world by the World Travel Awards. The World Travel Awards, it's been in existence for 27 years. And wow, we were actually surprised because we didn't, we didn't campaign for it. Because we were in the middle of a pandemic and then it won the best uh, tourist attraction in Tramuros. I'm saying Intramuros is because um, um, when I entered the Department of Tourism, Intramuros was not top of mind for me. I thought it was just dirty, honestly, before. And then I knew Intramuros because of Carlos Elbran. Basically, that was it. But not Intramuros as a, as a place. We have a very good administrator, Gilier Acido, and since he, he became the head um, when we when I entered the DOT, we were only getting about 900 per day. Before the pandemic, we were getting 10,000 to 14,000 a day already in Intramuros. Basically, you just um, cleaned it up. <laughs> it's just basic clean it up, um, promotion, what to do. Two weeks ago, I went biking around because it's the in. It's 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 not the in. It's not because it's the in thing, but it. It's like a, it's something that I can do without, I, I can do alone if I want to, or you can do with friends, but there's physical distancing. And biking around Intramuros is just so nice. We opened up the golf course also. And then recently we fixed Casa Manila. But if you want open space, open air, heritage culture, it has to be Intramuros. I've been pushing for no age restrictions in Intramuros. We opened about two weeks ago because and I and there are so many people na, you know, they, they just want to leave the house and then dadadalan nila yung below 15. But hindi pa pwede, but especially now because the cases are high. But um, I'm continually pushing for no age restrictions because number one, Filipinos travel as a family. As I've said, diba, it's number one family, number two friends. Parang it's so... Um, I, 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 it, it, it's not complete if it's, it's just you. You have to be, di ba, completo, lolo, hanggang apo. And that's, that, that's, that's how we are. So that's why even last year, I was able to successfully remove age restrictions for Boracay, El Nido, and Baguio. But, you know, always you could go do a staycation naman eh, if, if you just want to get out of the house. We have 14 staycation hotels. You not all hotels can apply for staycation. Uh, it has to be a four or five star hotel, um, and there's antigen testing before you enter. But basically, you can go around the hotels.